Hey. All right, we're live. Hey. All right, we're live. Hey. 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 Okay. So uh, I'm Heath, uh, and this is this is my crew of people. This is my crew of people. Uh, <laughs> uh, that's uh, Azrin over there, uh, and then in the corner over there is my boyfriend Gator. Uh, down here is Todd, and uh, over here is Ozzy. Uh, and uh, we're going to be doing some live, live streamed virtual improv for you guys. Uh, everything up 100% on the spot uh, based off of your suggestions. Uh, so uh, there is a bit of a stream delay, I believe. So uh, I will call for suggestions at the beginning of the game, uh, explain the game, and then hopefully by the time I'm done explaining, we'll see all of these suggestions. Uh, all right. So with that said, let's uh, just uh, jump right into it. So our first game is called Change. Uh, this is going to be a game for me and for Azrin. Uh, and Todd is going to be the one calling Change. So we're going to need a location for this one. So start. Uh, putting locations in the chat. Uh, and so the way this game works is Azrin and I will be doing a scene. And over the course of the scene, at any time, Todd can say, change. In which case, we have to take what we just said uh, and rewind, delete it, and then put something new into that. Like, let's go to the store, change. Let's go to the pizzeria, change. Let's go rob a bank, uh, something like that. Uh, so. With that All right, mind. so so we're starting to get some locations. I have coal mine, time warp, coffee house, desert, uh, a library. I, I like. I kind of like. I like coal mine. What do you think? I like coal mine. Coal mine works. Okay. We're, we're All right. Okay. Um, I think my instrument's broken. It's uh. Why? <laughs> well, because you're going up and down, and I'm going left and right. Change. Uh, so, like, you're going up and down, and like actually pulling things out, and mine's just making a squeaky noise. Change. Uh, <laughs> because uh, it appears to be a laser, actually. Oh, uh, you got the new laser edition? Yeah. Um, you know, and I heard that mine's rocks way better than this pick. Change. So, I heard that that thing is a piece of crap. <laughs> it can't mine anything. <laughs> I mean, exactly. I, I don't think I'm using it right. It didn't come no, with a user like, manual. It's literally like a laser pointer that you use for like a projector. Right, right. <laughs> so like, clearly there's like some way I should be doing this and it just is not working. Maybe if you like put it really close to the rock and then it'll like reflect off that rock and hit another rock. And then Change. that'll cause... <laughs> Maybe if you hold it really close to a rock <laughs> and then, like, jam it right into the crevice, <laughs> it'll probably, like, wedge the rock out. <laughs> oh, like, use it like an ice pick? Yeah, like an ice pick. Okay. Is it working? Uh, yes. It's, uh... Change. Uh, well, should it be smoking like this? I think that means it's working. Uh, okay, uh, it just looks like w this is a no smoking mine. That's the only issue. Oops, I didn't get that memo. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Are you the reason why the mine exploded like two days ago? I have no idea what you're talking about. Are Change. you sure? <laughs> I, maybe, I mean... There were that. Yes, that was me. I knew it. All right, I'm taking you into the station. No. <laughs> and scene. Scene. Okay. So, uh, so that was change. Uh, it's tough doing this with a live audience because you don't know if people are laughing or not. Uh, uh, all right. So uh, we're gonna move on to a guessing game next. Uh, so. This game is called Complaint Department. Uh, ooh, this one is one where stream delay is going to get us. Well, we'll see. So the way Complaint Department works is we're going to start needing some objects, and we're going to start needing some reasons why you would return an object. This works best if the two 
So uh, one really good version of this game was uh, when someone tried to return a Yukon degree because it ran out of gas. Um, so uh, the way it works <laughs> is Gator is going to be Gator is going to be uh, returning an object at the complaint department. Ozzy is going to be the complaint department. Um, and so Gator, we're going to need you to leave the audio uh, right now. Yes. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and Ozzy is going to give Gator some subtle clues as to what the object is that Gator is returning and why he's returning it. Um, so I believe Gator is out of the chat. Um, let's take a look. <laughs> Your toaster isn't producing milk. I, 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 that, that TV just might that be it. the future. Yeah, that might just hold uh, on. Yeah, I, I think Safi's got a good one. I mean, I think your, to your toaster is going to be pretty Your chair won't start as a good second, but uh, I think your toaster is a good one. What yeah, think I, think, I think the toaster. All right, cool. Uh, I'm okay, going to be toast, the manager. The toaster so is that... not producing milk. OK. Cool. Gator, come back. Come back, Gator. Uh, all right. Uh, Complaint department, begin right. when you're ready. Well, hello there. How can I help you? Oh, yes, uh, of course. Um, <laughs> I just brought this back, and uh, it's been a couple of days, and uh, I, right. I don't think it's working out. You see, it's um, not oh, okay. what I had in mind. Yes? Well, here, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll take it. Um, mm -hmm. Oh my! Um, so you, you were you were able to fit the the bread inside, were were you not? I mean, it it uh, it looks oh, like it yeah. should be. Should oh, be oh well, I mean, um, it, it depends if it's like a small loaf or it's like one of those nice baked baked ones from like the fancy store down the street. But uh, I suppose most of them, yes, yes. I mean, it would depend on how thick you're slicing uh, slicing the bread, or if you've got bagels. Um, I mean, either either one should work. So you're. But, but I mean, it looks like it looks like it should be accepting uh, bread just fine. Interesting. Is this a um? Hmm. Well, um, you know, I suppose like if uh, you put it in a certain way, not not you can't just approach it from every angle, right? Uh, no, usually just from the top. Just from the top, huh? Just from the top. Yeah. Um. Hmm. I mean, uh, I, okay. I, I can I can see it's 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 working there. So uh, it must be some some other issue you're having. Um. Hmm. So how okay. how long did you say that you had it? Well, uh, just a couple of days. Um, you know, um, you know, I always eat bread all the time, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. In fact, it's the only thing I pretty much eat. So you would think it would be the best item for the job, but uh, just uh, well, wasn't do, working do you, out. Do you not drink anything with your with your bread? Oh no, no, I, gosh, no! I, I just I, like I, to eat an entire loaf usually, um, with uh, no liquid <laughs> at all. This is not how everybody it does it. So, so, so the so it wasn't productive for you, was it? Well, it just uh, <laughs> productive. Well, I mean, what could it do? I mean, it's just I mean, a why, receptacle why, 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 for bread. Well, no, I mean, what what what, what was the, uh, the the volume that that you were getting out of it? You uh, the volume. You got to have something to drink with your bread. Well, uh, I mean, no, I don't know why you keep on suggesting that I would drink something with bread. That's utterly absurd. Um, but I suppose if I were, do you think coffee would be the best thing to drink with this? Um, I don't know. Co coffee seems a little um, caffeinated for for my taste. Uh, I, I, mm. I usually I, I usually mm. like the uh, uh, the coffee without the coffee. The coffee without the coffee. Hmm. Mm. So uh, is that tea? Uh, no. So more, more, more what you put into the coffee. Oh, like cream, like milk. So you would, you have like milk with uh, the bread. Yeah. Yes. Okay. And so, so you okay. weren't getting, you weren't getting enough out of it. Oh, you know, I, I don't know much about like these newfangled bread products these days. I'm usually used to the old bread. But you see, uh, yes. Um, am I supposed to milk the bread with this contraption? Um. The, the the bread. I mean, you're you're usually just um, making it slightly burnt. Slightly burnt. But I mean, you, you you do need something to 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 drink with it, and it doesn't. I I, I can see it. It doesn't seem to be to be working on that front. Hmm. 
Okay, so is this like this isn't one of those newfangled bagel guillotine things that you use to slice bagels and then you also milk it? <laughs> because I, uh, I don't know what I they're mean, coming it, up it's with. Got the, it's got the little bagel guillotine thing on it, but then you've also okay. got the part where you where you where you put your bread to uh, slightly burn it. Oh, is that like the those the, the little things that you see at like um Panama bread where they put those bagel slices on and it takes them through an oven and then it like toasts them on both sides, except this one burns it. Um well you 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 you've got it you've got it all almost there. I mean you put it in the top, you push it down, it takes a little while, but then it pops on up. Uh nice hmm. and nice and toasty. I see. So it's it's a it's a bagel slicer that also toasts it, but what is this milking you're talking about? <laughs> so, but so, so you're not getting anything out of it, are are you? You're not. Uh, well, I mean, you haven't uh, been drinking anything with it. You've just been having your uh, your dry, slightly burnt bread. Is it is it a uh, is it a toaster that you milk? <laughs> Does it provide a fresh, steady supply of milk? Uh. Well, it, it doesn't seem to be, be to be doing so, but uh, yes, I, I, I think you've got the right idea there. So it's a torture that doesn't give you milk. You can't use Yes! Milk. Scene! Uh, <laughs> a toaster that does not produce milk. Note to self, he uh, quirks without negative traits next time. But uh, that's it's great. I too, that, yeah. I too wish to eat an entire loaf of bread um, <laughs> with every <laughs> sitting. And uh, indeed, coffee minus coffee <laughs> equals tea. <laughs> what is... Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So uh, our next game is called I I Object. Uh, st stay tuned. There will be a quiz later. Uh, so this game, uh, we're going to need an object. Uh, and what the game is about is uh, Ozzy is going to be doing a scene where he interacts with an object of some sort. Uh, the object will be characterized and voiced by Azrin, uh, excuse me, and periodic somewhere in the middle of the scene, uh, I'm going to throw a wrench into the situation. I will introduce a second object uh, that will be voiced and acted out by Gator. Um, and uh, that's where it goes. So uh, we'll need a first object. Uh, what have we got? All right, we're starting to get some stuff in. We've got toilet plunger, uh, lightsaber, catapult, burlap sack, a giant Q-tip. I like catapult. <laughs> catapult <laughs> sounds fun, yeah. Uh, yeah it's, it's all right, so now that's... Make... That's one object. What's our second object? I will come up with a sep second uh, object naturally as the scene progresses. Got okay. it. All right. All right. Uh, all right, Ozzy, uh, take us away. All right, we need to get that wall taken down as quick as possible. Someone, look, come on, let's load a hundred kilogram uh, weight into into our catapult here. Oof, good sir, that's a lot of weight. Are you sure you want to use that much weight on me? Well, well, yeah, we have to have enough weight to actually smash through through the wall. I, I don't know about this. I don't think I can lift that much weight. It's just, it's too heavy. Well, you're no trebuchet, but you should at least be able to take a 100 kilogram weight and, and launch it at least 300 yards. What if we try something lighter first? Something, something, what, what do you suggest then? I, I don't know. How about like a two pound rock? A, a two-pound rock? What about a, a chicken? Oh, a chicken! I mean, yes, watch. chickens are fluffy. <laughs> oh, there it uh, goes! <laughs> it made it over the wall! I mean, I, I, I know some other catapult crews that have been uh, putting putting cows onto these things. Look, there's another oh, chicken he, there. Let's try the chicken again. Gator is going to voice well, all of the ammunition. Off the <laughs> you are voicing come, come here, all chicken. of the catapult let's, let's ammunition. Catapult. Oh, just, just, you know, let's stick to the nice, light, fluffy objects. I like them. Cow sounds too heavy. That surely weighs more than the boulder. Oh, I couldn't. Well, it might be just a small cow, but we, we, we'd rather, we'd rather have the, the chicken on there. Right? So let's, let, let's get the chicken on the catapult. Excellent, sir. Good choice. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. I see what you did there. 
<laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> I'm a witty cannibal. Where'd our chicken go? <laughs> it's running off, oh, sir. It's got, it's got, it's got sailed straight over the wall. Well, that's perfect. We've definitely got our trajectory on that one. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> quite indeed. We're doing excellently. <laughs> I did it All again. Right. Well, let's get you reset here, Paul. Pull, oh. pull you down. Get, crank it up. All right. So we're ready for our next shot. What, what, what are we going to shoot this time? Oh, I, I, I we, we could try something a little bit heavier. <laughs> a, a little bit heavier. So what, a little what, what's a bit little heavier. bit heavier? I than it's okay. We'll work our way like, up like to the. Turkey. What? Uh, like, like a turkey or a, a, like a pumpkin? How about a, a yeah, big pumpkin? Turkey sounds lovely. It's around that the time of year, right, sir. It's autumn. There should be lots of turkeys. <laughs> that is a very big turkey. So let's. <laughs> okay. I, we could try it uh -huh. out. <laughs> it, it seems like it's going to be uh -huh. Well, here, come uh -huh. on. Let, let, let's, let's get this turkey up onto the catapult here. Uh -huh. Oh, it's moving around, sir. It won't stay still. <laughs> what? Well, <should, should. laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Oh. It's a. It seems to be a very militant turkey here. You're, Sir, I, I'm, I'm, you I, I, I've never smell. encountered such a so, so, such a uh, an aggressive turkey. So, maybe, maybe this is just what we need to shoot over the wall. Oh, they can take them. your enemies, sir. Good choice. Oh God. Oh God. Excuse me. Are you a, oh, yeah. a, a civil engineer that built this catapult? Because if you would know anything, you would know that most um, most turkeys would not possibly gain enough velocity on its arc in order to uh, make a devious impact on that medieval wall over there. No, no, good sir, though. Uh, if you, I were you, I would tie a whole flock of turkeys and then aim them at the soldiers themselves. You'd do far more damage to that front and also demoralize them on a severe amount. Sir, I, I can't a flock of turkeys. <laughs> Just tie an entire flock of turkeys together and then launch that on our catapult. Oh, yes, yes, quite, yes. Interesting. Well, well, do, you know where I can get, do you know where I can get an entire flock of turkeys? Also some twine. Oh, God. Well, you know, I can help you on the turkey front, but I'm afraid I have, uh, I'm uh, quite, uh, quite an un um, uninformed on the twine front. You'll have to find your own. I right. think there's some I, I, spare I twine in my repair kit, sir. Oh, that's right. All right. Well, we'll go ahead and open up the, the repair kit. Um, and so we need several turkeys to tie together and launch over. Try oh, to, yes, my uh, sister Jane and my over. brother Jack over there. They're quite good lads. They're actually very plump. Don't tell them I said that, though. Uh, you can use those to help you in your, your journey to slay the soldiers with... <laughs> I'm just sitting in the repair kit. Maybe I'll get used today. Maybe today. Oh. Oh well, hello there. Uh, or what? What? What even are you? I'm a piece of twine. You're a piece of twine. Well, excellent. All right. So I need you. Did you find I the twine, sir? Uh, yes. Yes, I did. Yay! I'm included. <laughs> oh God, am I going to be tied we're gonna, with this fellow? Please, please. This any other twine. twine, please. You have to have some decency. No, no this twine is no! No! No, please! Please! No! <laughs> Usually that game doesn't go to three objects, but we're doing it live. Uh, that is the nature of improv. All right. So I, I wrote in my notes for the next one location, but I typoed it and I wrote locatagon. Uh, <laughs> our next game is called Questions Only. <laughs> it's a uh, it's a game for everybody involved. Uh, we're just gonna leave the frame um, and then come on when it's our time to do stuff. Uh, questions only. Uh, we need we need a location. Uh, so simple enough game. Uh, two of us will be doing a scene. We can only ask questions. Uh, if you take too long, if you are deemed to be boring or lame, uh, or you're just sitting there going um, or of course if you say something that's not a question uh then you'll be buzzed off and you'll go out of frame and then uh someone else will uh pop up 
Uh, we don't have an order for this, but we'll figure it out. I have confidence in everyone here. Okay, uh, let's right. grab a location. So we've got, we've got an Ikea store, the Mushroom Kingdom, the Red Lion. Okay, the Red Lion. Red Lion, yeah. The Red Lion, all right. <laughs> Okay, uh, I will start, um, and uh, I guess Gator's starting with me. Okay. So how long have you been working here? Uh, well, ever since it was uh, turned into the red line from Radisson. Oh. Ah. That wasn't the question, was it? <laughs> Well, what uh, what uh, how long you've been uh, mopping the floor? Are you you getting used to the job? Would you believe I've been mopping the same patch of floor for ten years? Do you think that might be why the hotel is so? Hmm. What does hmm mean? Well, can't you see the ceiling? If you're, are you just focusing on the floor and not taking care of the ceiling tiles? Do you think that mopping and the ceiling are part of the same department? Well, what do I know about maintaining a hotel? I'm just a manager. <laughs> oh, can I have a raise then? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, you, you, why would you even want a raise? Do you know how much I make? When did you start? What year is it? Would you believe 2020? Are we still open? Didn't we get closed for tax evasion? <laughs> <laughs> Why would you think that? Don't you read the newspapers? Which newspapers are you talking about? The reputable ones. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, are we ever going to get uh, a remodel done? What kind of remodel are you looking for? Don't you want to fix the leaks? What leaks? Do, do you not see the cracks along the walls? <laughs> Did you know that those cracks are actually uh, decorative? Did you know? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, where's the convention, everybody? Which convention are you looking for? Well, isn't it time for Fur Park? Yes, it is. <laughs> Todd, get in here. And unmute yourself. No, no. Well, would you like to uh, sign in? Uh, here, let me just clean the debris off of the uh, the counter. Why is everything so dirty? Well, how else do we grow the mushrooms? Why are you growing mushrooms here? Why not? <laughs> I'll allow it. <laughs> Why am I thinking of myself of a response that's not appropriate? <laughs> I mean, it's a question. Get out! Get out! Oh no! <laughs> what are you doing here? Are you the ghost of Khan's past? How long do you think I've been here? Um, um, <laughs> when did the con begin? 2014! <laughs> <laughs> Is there any additional parking available? What type of vehicle are you looking to park? Don't you see my van outside? Uh, van parking is around the back to the left 
around the corner, up the hill, and I'm gone. <laughs> Theater, you have to fix your mic. Thank you. We're doing so it who live. Did you choose me to uh, carpool to the Furcon with. Uh, did you go with that fursuiter? What fursuiter? Do you see the dancing fursuiter by the pool? Why didn't I notice him before? Did... Is he gonna get wet? <laughs> when were fursuiters ever allowed in a pool? <laughs> Won't the, the dripping roof hit him? Well, that's the worst, uh, le uh, least of his worries. Ah, goddammit. <laughs> All right, we're going to change the scene. We are now in an Ikea store. And Todd, you're on. Okay, Ozzy's on. Oh. All right. now you're... <laughs> Do you know where uh, I can find the uh, cabinets? Um... Do you know where the cafe is? Do you mean the one with the meatballs? Do you... Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Todd, Todd. <laughs> can, can you help us? Well, what do you need help with? Would you believe that we are being attacked by giant Swedish meatballs? When did the meatballs start revolting? Why did people put Miracle Grow, grow in the Swedish meatball formula? Where did they even get Miracle Grow? I don't know. Do you have a knife? Uh, what type of knife are you looking for? Are, are you going through the kitchen display to grab a knife when we're being attacked by giant Swedish meatballs? Where else would I go to get a giant knife? <laughs> ah! <laughs> <laughs> well, what are you standing around here? We need to do something. Don't we? Eh! <laughs> 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 Victim of the Swedish meatballs. <laughs> you had a good start. <laughs> Why aren't we preparing the bread rolls to prepare for this meatball invasion? How absorbent do you think the bread rolls are? French rolls or garlic rolls? Whichever roll you prefer. <laughs> <laughs> do you know how to assemble a ubergadon? What is an ubikadon? <laughs> it's right. <laughs> so, how do you not know what an ubikadon is? Does it look like I went to ubikadon school? How else are we going to fight the meatballs except without an ubikadon? <laughs> Maybe we should contemplate if we should be fighting the meatballs in the first place. <laughs> <laughs> Can you help me? Do, do you need an assembly paper? <laughs> Can you explain to me why the catapult that I ordered from Ikea refuses to launch any form of ammunition except for tiny chicken nuggets? And scene! <laughs> right. Oh, oh man, that was wild. That was, uh, that was a trip through Attack of the Swedish Meatballs uh, and a trip through the Red Lion. I'm not sure which is more horrifying. Uh, <laughs> anyways, uh, we are going to move Lion. on to uh, Dating Game. Yes, I almost read questions only a second time. I need new glasses. Uh, so <laughs> Dating Game is a game where um, Ozzy is going on a dating show. Uh, and myself, Gator, and Azrin are going to be uh, eligible contestants. Um, and we're going to need quirks, like party quirks kinds of quirks. 
uh, and we're each going to have one. Oz is going to ask us three rounds of questions. Uh, and then at the end of the three rounds of questions, Ozzy will try and guess uh, what is going on with all of us. So I'll Turns have Ozzy. Leave the, the yeah, audio, right? leave the audio. Yep. All right. Uh, and let's take a look at the chat and see what quirks we've got. All right. Don't see anything coming in yet. OK. If you don't start Test of our stream delay. Start, start. <laughs> afraid, afraid of, afraid of turkeys, uh, <laughs> or just afraid of birds, afraid, afraid of winged birds. creatures. <laughs> uh, does anyone like that? Does anyone want to want to be afraid of? I, I afraid, do of afraid of winged creatures. Afraid of winged creatures. Okay. Uh, I'm seeing door to door salesman. I, I'm seeing where's a furry tail, but I don't think there's too much we can do about that one. Um, yeah, um, it's a little, a little too. You know, a uh, another good one that I've uh, a good one that I've seen in the past, for example, is uh, slowly lighting on fire. <laughs> yes, gradually, gradually lighting on fire. Gradually. <laughs> so I can't I say I, the number twelve. Hmm. Uh, mm. That's a little tough. That's yeah, a, little that's a little specific. Yeah. Uh, I like. Uh, I like. <laughs> I like that one. Everything can be. <laughs> that's a good one. I like that one. All right. Including All right. relationships. Yeah. Yes. Assumes everything can be fixed with a wrench. Uh, afraid of wing creatures. Uh, and then. Um, uh, has has been in the same fursuit for a straight week. There you go. Okay. I, I would love to take the fursuit one. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, and then I've already forgotten what the other two quirks were. Uh, um, uh, afraid of winged creatures. Okay. Isn't afraid of winged creatures. And, and then the last one I is anything can be fixed with a wrench. Stuff by a wrench. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> Uh, all right, Ozzy, come back. He can't hear us, but we're just going to. Ah, oops. <laughs> <laughs> we're doing it live. <laughs> uh, Ozzy's muted. You need to unmute yourself. Uh, and um, Todd, why don't you unmute yourself and kick us off, and then we'll uh, we'll go from there. Welcome to Ozzy's Unmute Yourself and Kick Us Off. And then we'll, uh, we'll go from there. Welcome to the dating game. Let's meet our lovely three contestants and their willing suitor. Da, 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 da. Welcome, Azrin. Nice to meet you. Oh, thanks for having me on the show. I'm just so excited to find someone finally. All right, and we've also got Heath. Heath, tell us a little about yep. yourself. Uh, <laughs> I'm a... I'm, I'm, uh... I'm a, I'm a simple fella. I like I like to I like simple solutions to simple problems. I like simple solutions All to right. complex and our problems. And our final date is Veggie Gator. Welcome to the show, Veggie. So, so happy to be here, baby. <laughs> oh my gosh! And and a, a man with mustard. Wow! This is such a great uh, this is such a great moment in my life. Uh, somebody get this man a drink of water. And now, our fabulously dressed suitor, Ozzy. All right, Ozzy, you have the opportunity to ask these lovely contestants some questions. So take it away. All right, uh, suitor number one, uh, where would you take us on a date? Oh, I think we can go for a picnic, but, you know, somewhere inside. I hear parks have lots of unsavory creatures you know like <laughs> yes the ones that are like portly and they fly around oh i don't want those but i love picnics so we should go to an indoor picnic like inside um a room with, with no insects either oh, okay uh, so an indoor picnic with no no, no insects or uh portly flying things all right, uh, uh, contestant number two, um, what's your favorite movie? Hmm, Dodgeball. <laughs> it really, oh uh, it really highlights the value of my tool of choice. 
<laughs> All right. So, so dodgeball. Uh, contestant number three. Um, uh, where would we go on our honeymoon? Oh, well, you know, I've always wanted to die for going to the the, the Emporium of Fans. <laughs> fans? Uh, yes. Oh, yes. It's the world's biggest selection of fans and fan-like accessories. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing uh, and, and, moon more. And, that, and that's where we would go honeymooning. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Wouldn't you? Uh, so, uh, contestant number one, uh, where would you take us on vacation? Um. Oh, oh. How about like a cruise ship? That, like, you know, like a nice cruise that's far away from all of those unsavory creatures I mentioned before. <laughs> you know, just like nice, like dolphins that don't fly, and like fish <laughs> that don't fly. <laughs> what about flying fish? <laughs> what are flying fish? <laughs> uh, uh, all right. Uh, so, so we're, we're, we're calling it fine. Uh, so, uh, uh, contestant number two. Um, uh, what what is your ideal night in? Uh, well, I think first I'd go ahead and I'd fix a shelf, uh, <laughs> and then then I'd fix a bookshelf, and then if the modem was breaking, I'd fix the modem too. Um, and uh, if the fridge was empty, just give it a whack, and I'll just <laughs> fill it with food. Uh, yeah, re really, it's it's just a uh, yeah, that, that's what you do with it with an item. We just fix things. Right. Okay. Uh, so so you, you'd spend the night in fixing things. Uh, so contestant number three. Um, um, <laughs> uh, what what what's your opinion on skydiving? Oh. It's so wonderful. It gives you so much clout on Twitter. But more than that, it can cool <laughs> you down, and no one can smell you from up there. <laughs> it's the best of three worlds. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, contestant number one. Um, um, what, what's your preferred mode of travel? Um, uh, probably a, a, a ground vehicle, um, a train, or a car. I, I don't really think, I think you can get anywhere you want to go in the world with a car, a train, or a boat. Um, I, 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 um, there's just so many unsavory creatures up there. I, I don't know. <laughs> I'd, I'd have to think about it. Um, so, uh, contestant number two, um, uh, what, what, what's your, uh, what, what's your favorite tool? Well, you know, you know, they say a Swiss army knife can, can get everything done, but really just like throwing a wrench into the plans is just, is just where, I'm, what I'm all about. All right. Um, and contestant number three, I, you... Um, uh, what, uh, what, what movie would you take us to on a date? Ah, oh, yes. Well, to tell you the truth, my favorite movie on a date would be the Rocky Horror Picture Show, but it has to be at the Poolside Theater. You see, I need a lot of space near the pool in order to spread out my albatross wings and uh, be able to show them to everybody. Oh, look at that person on the boat in the distance. Oh, the owner. What is that? <laughs> 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 These wings are very healthy, uh, uh, heavy, and uh, quite, quite um, very warm. Very, very warm. <laughs> All right, uh, so uh, I, I think so. Uh, contestant number one, uh, you are afraid of things that fly. Ah, yeah. Close enough. Close yeah. enough. Okay. Afraid of wings. Uh, 
<laughs> yep. Afraid of afraid wings. Of, okay. Afraid of horrible geese. Uh, Uh, so um contestant number two um you like fixing things are you a mechanic uh i am uh, a mechanic but it's more than that because i can use this for for brushing my hair and for (laughs) for fixing my relationships and (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> so you're 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 like a fix uh, fix all tool. Uh, I believe that a wrench can fix everything. Yeah, you can solve all problems with a wrench. Okay. <laughs> um, and contestant number three, you're an albatross. <laughs> <laughs> no. That's who my sona is. <laughs> <laughs> what your sona is? You're, what you're a fursuiter? <laughs> yes. Not only that. Um, a fursuiter who's um, getting entirely too hot. He really, really likes fursuiting. Like, all the time. So, so he hasn't, you know, he hasn't... 621? Isn't that an out-of-date rule? Like, that was, like, back in the, like, the okay. 90s, yo. This is, this is a, this is a hippie movement here. No, stop being a musky husky. Ah, about this. No, but I want to be a musky husky, totally. <laughs> <laughs> Any ideas? Oh, All right. <laughs> it's been a long time <laughs> for me. Uh, so, it's been a long time. But, but, but... <laughs> uh oh. He's frozen. Uh-oh. He's the first suitor that never takes oh. off his suit. Hey! Yeah. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> we got it. Yes, he's, he's been it. in a suit for a whole week. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, I think we've got time for a quick panic okay. button game, and then we'll move into rolling blackouts, and uh, then that'll be our show. Um, uh, okay. Ozzy's sort of in like the time zone over there. Uh, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? That was happy. witchcraft. <laughs> Okay. Wow. Some time di- dilation. All right. <laughs> Doing it live. Okay. Uh, okay. Our, our next game is called. Fi- now he has a flask. What is happening? Okay. Our next game is called Five, Four, Three, Two, One. Uh, it is a game for all five of us. Uh, uh, yes. Yeah, so what will happen is I'll start by doing a scene just by myself, uh, and then one by one people will pop up, and uh, this they'll. Uh, someone will come on and there'll be a two-person scene, completely different and unrelated to the one-person scene. Uh, and then we'll do that again for a third, for three people, then four people, then five people. Uh, at the end of the five-person scene, sometime during the five-person scene, the fifth person that comes on will leave, and then it turns back into the four-person scene, and then the three-person scene, and then the two-person scene, and then the one-person scene. All right, so uh, I'll start. Uh, Todd will disappear. Fight on. And we'll uh, go from there. <laughs> Four score and 20 years ago. Hmm. Well, that won't work. Uh, let's see. Uh, my fellow Americans. Hmm. That doesn't do it either. Uh, sup. Yeah, I think that'll do. Okay, so we'll start with sup. And then we'll uh, we'll add on another line. Uh, sup, <laughs> gentlemen? How art you doing? I'm dying up here. <laughs> Quick, get down! They're coming! Ah! Ah! Who? What? Who is coming? What? The... Is it the Swedish? They're meatball? all coming! It's, They're all it's coming! A stampede. Oh no! Quick, we have to run away! Swedish meatballs, German meatballs, Russian meatballs. Are you running or? or stroganoff. What are we doing? Where are we going? Str- stroganoff! Oh no, it's a stroganoff <laughs> avalanche! We need shovels. Uh, we need to dig a pit. Yeah, and- that and giant forks. So, if you look on the left, you're going to see the Library of Congress. And if you look on the right, you will see the Senate. 
And now we are going to go a little bit down the street. We're going to see a nice calming park. I think there's a festival today. I encourage all of you to visit. Okay. Okay. Uh, when is the parade? Uh, the parade will be coming. Oh, look, there's the parade. I see an albatross. Oh, that's slightly <laughs> alarming. <laughs> it's It has one of the largest wingspans <laughs> of any creatures. I mean, how great would America be if we didn't have an albatross on demand? Welcome to Albatross Yoga. My name is Albatross. And thank you all for joining my wonderful crystal circle of kinship. Yes, let us begin. Now we are going to do the famous pose just waking up at 11 a.m. after a severe bender at a furry convention. Ah, just feel the aches just come onto your spine. Mm. Uh, and we just lost Todd. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. It's four three two one now. <laughs> and now we're going to go swimming through the sea of filth on the con floor. Yes, just use your hands. Use them to repel the uh, the people you don't want to deal with. Yes, good. Good, just like that. Oh, you're all so wonderful students. And I'm not just saying that because you're paying me a hundred dollars a visit. Yes. Very good. Bring it on in, bring it here. Yes, great. Now you want to, we're gonna go to the artist alley and we're gonna do the the nice, the nice, wonderful ponding. Oh, we're back on, and, five, four, three, two, one. All right, all right, guys. We are almost ready for the big shoot. We gotta practice it one more time. Ready? It's fun to stay at the YMCA. It's fun to stay at the YMCA. All right, I need to go get the cameraman and we're gonna film this. We're back at yoga. Yes, and now that we have our hands up in the air, we bring it in from the Y position to the O position, which is not in the YMCA. I don't know why this was invented. <laughs> now we just bring it in, bring it in. He's a fraud, a fraud, he's a fraud. No, oh, kick him out. Why is the albatross taking their head off? <gasps> ah. There's a man underneath. <gasps> it's so an albatross mass broken. murderer. What? <laughs> oh my God, we have to run immediately. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> run! There's, There's pasta flying from the sky. We still need giant forks here. I'll get the giant fork. You get the giant spoon. We'll twist them together. Okay. Okay. All right. And I just want to finish off my speech by saying, oh, "Thank you very much." Scene. <laughs> okay. Uh, so. Some technical difficulties, but uh, That's we right. recovered. We're doing it live. We're All right. Uh, okay, we're gonna move into our last game for the for the afternoon. Uh, but first off, I want to thank you all for coming and seeing us flail around on the internet uh, and bringing your suggestions. And I hope you're all having a wonderful fur pock. Uh, I'm having a great time with our, our first uh, first and hopefully only because hopefully hopefully next year we'll be able to do this in person and we'll have audio participation and all of that. <sighs> but uh, anyways, so uh, our, our why, why do I hear myself? Uh, never mind. Uh, so our last game is going to be called Rolling Blackouts. We're going to just need one word suggestions. Just just put words into the chat. Hashtag PG13. Um, and uh, what's going to happen is we're going to take a one word suggestion. Two of us are going to build a scene off of that. Uh, and then at any point in time when one of the other performers is inspired by something going on in the current scene uh, and wants to create a related scene, uh, they can hop in and do that. Uh, and then we'll just sort of follow that train, that rabbit hole, where it goes. All right, so. Uh, yeah. All right, we're starting to get some. We've got cricket, chocolate, voluptuous. Mm -hmm. uh, Truck. Halloween. Halloween. I like Halloween. Yeah, I think brand. Halloween's good. It's, it's, it's some theme. All right. 
All right, I'm just gonna run away, and I'll, I'll I like to <laughs> jump in on this game. Everyone ran away. Okay. <laughs> Adrian, get in here. There we go. <laughs> this is Halloween. This is <laughs> Halloween. Fa la la, fa la la, la la la, la la la. Yes, sir. I'm the governor. I don't I know the words. Faces, oh. But you only see this one face because it would be weird for me to turn around in this stream. Yes, this is Halloween. Hi, what's behind you? Well, it's just the bad side of me. You don't want to see that. I'm here to only show the good side of me to the good people of yeah, Halloween is, Town. Do a twirl. Hmm? Twirl. 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 Is there something behind me? Oh, Gator. So, uh, this is my jack-o'-lantern. It's very pretty. I really like the, uh, I'm, I'm very happy to display this side of the jack-o'-lantern. Uh, no, no. Yeah, yeah. What? Can you what? twirl it around? Uh, you wouldn't like what it looks like on the back side. It's, it's <gasps> a little bit angry. It's horrifying. Ooh. Yeah, I, I think it turned someone to stone once. So I, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna put that away just just so that I we think keep you're that. Safe. To snow. Uh, oh, uh oh, hey, Adrian. oh my God! How, the, the, the guy just turned to stone. What, what happened? Um, uh, maybe he had too much rock candy. Maybe, or maybe, maybe, maybe there's a ghost. Maybe there's a ghost. Okay, a rock ghost, Medusa a rock ghost. ghost. Right. Uh. Well, then so, we need um, a vacuum cleaner, right? Yes. No, wait. No. Who are we going to call? Heath. Trick or treat. Oh, aren't you lovely? Here, let me uh, let me get my son Johnny out here to show you his Ghostbusters costume. Oh, doesn't Johnny look great? You look great. What are, are you a, are you a, a Frankenfurter? Frankensteinfurter? <laughs> lovely, lovely. Here, take some candy. Yay, candy. I hope you've got Snickers and not those like, those like candy corn. Ugh. Oh no no no! We only have organic candy at this household. Or organic. Both candy. of you out, Gator in. This oh. just in: an epidemic of children turning to stone after eating organic candy corn is sweeping the nation. Yes, I'm on the scene, and right here we have our friend Johnny. Who has just eaten a horrible, dirt, fatal uh, stone candy, as the kids call it these days. And now there's just the lawn ornaments on the lawn. What are we going to do about this? Someone must answer. Indeed, someone must answer. And now, sports. Heath. Mwahaha, I am the candy man, and I am turning children into stone candy. That are edible. How could you? That's our job. We're Laticree. We're trying to provide stone and gravel-based goods to the economy. You're no, stealing no, they're, they're our jam. They're, 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 they're meant to be eaten. You see, they turn into rock candy. Not oh, rock rocks. candy. Okay. <laughs> well, yes. Well, I suppose that there isn't too much of a problem then. But we, <laughs> we were worried you were stepping into our territory of providing gravel and stone and whatnot. But, uh, well... You know those are uh, those letters we sent oh, you like, about uh, us. Uh, both of you out, Ozzy and oh, shoot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, happy Halloween, child. Here's another child to put into your bag. <laughs> Scene. <laughs> thank you, everybody. We have been a bunch of furries doing improv. Uh, thank you for coming to Furry Improv and enjoy your con. Have a good one. Bye. Thanks for coming. Bye. <laughs> We're just going to awkwardly wave. Awkwardly wave until something else happens. Yeah. Until something else happens. Yes. Yes. <laughs> right, surprise dance party. 30 minutes later. <laughs>